at level 49 crafting. There we go. Alright, I can now do the hand in the sand quest, which I need for um, the 84 buckets a day. And that will definitely help me with my crafting uh, progress towards level 61. Alright, I'm about to complete the hand in the sand quest, and there we go. Awesome. 50 crafting, which is good. And I can claim 84 buckets of sand in day for bird, which is even better. Okay, I'm about to hit level 70 fletching. And with that, there we go, 70 fletching, which is great. I can now fletch you longbows, so I can finally start making some money. 72 fletching from fletching on my U logs. I'm probably going to hit like 74 before I string them all, so that's good. And uh, I'll just keep at it, to be honest. I'm almost 1200 total, I didn't even notice. I'm about to hit level 73 fletching and 1200 total. And I can make onyx tipped bolts, which I'll probably never do. But, you know, that's good. Um, I still have like 5k U logs left, so I might actually be able to hit level 75. Or 76, I'm not too sure. About it, level 75 fletching. So, five more levels until level 80, which is great. And, yeah, it's, um, I still have, I don't even know how many U logs I have left. I'll check, um, after this lag is over. I'm not sure why it's doing that. Can I open this? No? Alright. Uh, 3k U logs left, so I'm going to get level 76 from just cutting it. And then I'll probably get level 80 uh, once I've strung everything. I'm going to hit level 60 magic right now. And I'm just going to continue alking and buying natures until I either get a decent cash deck or get myself some glory. I just finished a um, few alks and camping in Pura Pura, but I unfortunately didn't get anything. Um, well, I didn't get any glories. I made a little bit of money, but you know still not enough glories. So um, <clears throat> I'm just going to quickly do this um, Magic training arena so I can get myself uh, the magic cape and staff and I'll probably out the staff for money and I'm going to give up on getting a glory to be honest from dragon imp link So I'm just going to slay in power amulets and then we'll see where it goes. Uh, but yeah, I'll just finish this real quick and then I'll get back to you guys. I'm about to hit level 50 agility. Six more levels until I have the requirement for my quest cape. There we go. Agility, sweet. I won't be doing the Felador course though. I'll stay here until I hit level 60 and then I'll go to Sears Village. I'll just hit level six, 55 crafting. You can now cut dragon stones. Uh, that's actually good. Still, I need level 80 crafting <laughs> until I can make my amulets of glory, so that's going to take ages, but yeah. Um, for now, I'll just finish uh, stringing these bowstrings, and after that, I'll get 55 jelly. I'll probably get 60 jelly or something, to be honest. About to hit level 55 jelly, and now I'm off to using summer pies and doing the seer scores. Hopefully, get my graceful outfit because. I don't have um, any graceful pieces yet, and I still want the full armor. I just hit level 57 in Italy, but I missed the recording. Um, <clears throat> I'm just burning through my summer pies, but I've gained two levels already, so that's good. And the reason why I'm doing this, actually, I don't think I mentioned this uh, already, but I can alk while doing this, so it's somewhat efficient because I need money for my kingdom, and I want magic experience because I need 66 magic for my quest cape and swan song. So just um, alking while training agility is pretty welcome. And I have the summer pies anyway, I'm probably not going to use them because. Well, it's going to take a while if I ever go for 99 agility and I doubt that I really want to boost, uh, then I'll just want to train it losslessly. So I'm just going to um, 
continue on this agility streak and hopefully get my graceful armor. That's another reason I um, get marks of grace from this and the wildy course doesn't give marks of grace. So, uh, so yeah, I'm 70 costs away from 62 magic, so I'll uh, show that clip once I get there. Alright, I'm about to hit level 62 magic. Four more levels until level 66. And I wonder how much longer I can keep at this. Uh, because it's um, it takes a bit to focus this much. Uh, but I'll live, so if this lag uh, stops, I guess. Just hit level, um, level 58 digitally, so two more levels until I can finally do this course without potting up. I think I'm just going to train agility until I can afford my graceful legs, which um, should be in like 10 marks of grace or something, I'm not sure, I think I have like 35 banged. So um, I'll just stick here around and uh, I'll probably hit level 60. Alright, I'm about to hit level 59 agility and I need five more marks of grace until I hit my, um, or until I can buy the graceful legs. So I'm not sure if I'll hit that before level 60, but I guess we'll find out. Finally managed to get my 60 marks of grace. I am 12k until level 60 agility, so I'm just going to finish that off. But I wanted to buy graceful legs because I got really tired of my energy running out all the time. Uh, so I'm, I hope that this is going to help. I kind of doubt it though, but uh, energy potions because I don't want, really want to waste summer pies on this. And yeah, I'll see you guys when I hit level 60. I'm about to hit level 60 agility. And, um, yeah, I gained five levels in, like, three hours, I think. Oh, I'm still not there. I need six experience, so this is going to be it. But there we go, six C agility, which is great. Um, I don't really know why I actually got it. Like, I don't know what my actual goal is right now. Um, I guess I'm just going to quest, because I genuinely don't know. I hit level 41 fire making. I'm getting 50 fire making for um, desert treasure, so I'll just record all the levels until then. I'm about to hit level 45 fire making, and I'll start using my logs from my kingdom, uh, all the maple logs that is. So I should be 50 within like 20 minutes. All right, I'm about to hit level 50 fire making. So then I have the requirement for desert treasure. Um, I'm first going to do Tears of Gothics does, so at least 50 fire making is out of the way, so I won't have to worry about that, and yeah, now Tears of Gothics. I'm about to complete my arm's big adventure. It's going to get me, I think, 47 or more, and um, I don't know what the level, to be honest. Uh, but it's a big chunk of experience. There we go. Uh, 46. Almost 47, at least. And 36 for me. I did level 60 cooking, and I don't have enough fish, obviously, for... I think I'm going to get either 66 or 67 and then just use a spice uh, stew to get a boost to complete the recipe for disaster. But for now, I'm just going to get 62, and then I'm um, going to check if 
I will be able to get myself to 66 magic somehow. Alright, hit level 62 cooking, and I can now cook monkfish, so I can do swan song if I want. I'm just going to finish up all my raw fish, and then I'm going to do a bit more quests. I think I'm going to do regicide, actually. Completing a regicide, and actually didn't mess up this time. I remember from um, a year ago, doing it on my other account, that it took me like 3 or 4 hours to complete this quest, but now it went pretty well, so I am going to complete roving elves now. And I'll see you guys when I finish that. Right, I'm about to finish Roving Elves. And um, I'm going to get the bow. Even though I'll probably get 70 defense before 70 magic. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I just feel like the bow is going to be more useful. So anyway, Roving Elves completed. And now I've completed every quest that I I'm able to do with these stats. So I'm going to, um, except for Typo when I, but I don't have a spare. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do actually. Um, I'm probably just going to flesh my bows, Alchem, and get myself to 66 magic so I can do Swanson. About to hit level 78 fletching, there we go. Um, I was playing on a small screen, so that might look so weird. But 78 fletching has been <laughs> achieved. Um, I might actually be able to hit level 79, I'll probably hit that tonight if I don't decide to just start alking uh, the bows that I've fletched so far. Uh, I'm not really sure about that to be honest, I'm just working towards getting 66 magic now for Swan Song, so yeah. About to hit level 79 fletching, one more level until level 80, and 4.5k more bows to fletch, so I'll probably, um, I'll actually hit level 80 with uh, my current bows, and I will almost hit level 81, but not quite. I'm just finishing up my final uh, buyout of nature runes, and luckily all the worlds are empty, I'm not sure if that's common nowadays or not, but this is what I bought, and it cost me around 500k, but 3k natures and 110 lands just for teleporting. I'm about to hit level 63 magic, and one more level actually until I can do a swan song, but I'm just going to finish these 2000 elks and hope <laughs> that um, I'll get glories in that time. I doubt it though, so I'm like, I don't expect anything anymore, and I just elk, and I'll see where I get. third dragon impling in like one hour, but um, just really, really want glories at this point, so let's hope that I'm lucky. Nope. And this is the dragon impling in the lap after the last one, so maybe this one will be able to give me a glories, but I'm going to lose it. Really hope that this world is going to stay empty for a while. Uh, no, still not. About to hit level 64 magic. Two more levels and 1.3k more elk, so. I'm actually not going to hit level 66 by like a few experience, but that's okay. Once I hit 66, I can boost up to charge all my Dragonstone enemies, and that will mean <laughs> that I'll finally have glory, so that's good. Just hit level 65 magic. Um, I am actually going to be 10 elks of level 66, so that's completely fine. What I've been doing for the past hour or so, because otherwise it would just take too long for all my elks, since it's uh, almost 4am right now, and I want to finish them before I head to bed, is just stand in this corner and catch this impling and wait for it to respawn and just poke, which has been working fine so far. So um, I'll see you guys when I hit 66 or when a dragon impling spawns. I'm about to complete this one song quest, and that'll 
and then I'll be able to fish monk fish, so I'll be able to get some meat cooking. And just finishing up the conversation real quick. And 45 prayer as well, so that's pretty good. Just gotta get through the dialogue. And 10k fishing experience. Awesome. I also got 66 magic, so guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to put up and finally enchant my glories. Uh, which bow is it? That's diamond. There we go. Oh, okay. Um, cosmics. Water. Or uh, I think I'll need a staff. I have an earth staff, so that's going to waste a bit of water runes. And. <coughs> Dragonstone enemies. Alright, I need a wizard with a spine bomb as well. with. Finally have my glories. It really did take a while because as you all know I've been at this for ages. But I finally have my ending of glory and I couldn't be happier. Alright, so what I am going to do is I am going to buy out this store and it for gold ores obviously. And that's how I'm going to get myself to level 60 smithing because honestly I don't really want to um, at like 72 mining or something in order to get level 60 smithing. I just want it out of the way so I can get my quest cape. And it's going to be really expensive. I'm probably going to pay, pay over a mil, but you know, whatever. Like, I'll live. I'm about to hit level 57 crafting uh, after spending a bit of bowstring. I'm going to need like around 1.4k molten glass. Uh, I'm still collecting my daily buckets from birds, so maybe by the time that I need to get 61 crafting, uh, I will have enough buckets, and if not, I am just going to have to buy a bucket of ships for a while. I'm about to level 37 farming. I'm probably going to get an even higher level during this farming trip. And I also, um, I didn't record it, but I bought 1.5k gold ore from Blessed Furnace, and it cost me um, it cost me a little over 500k GP, so now that I have 1.5k gold ore, I'm just going to smelt off that, and once I level 50 smithing, which won't be too long, I'm going to be able to do quests, and those quests will um, give me even higher smithing. I'm about to hit level 50 smithing, and then I'll be able to do Between the Rock. I don't really know how the commentary in my last clip was actually, but I got a phone call while I was commentating, so I kind of wanted to round it off, but not like do it right away. So anyway, um, I'm going to do Between a Rock, hopefully, I'm not even sure what the quest reward is to be honest. I'm just going to check that real quick because I want to know if I'm going to get a smithing level from it. Um, nope, I won't be able to get a smithing level from it, but 5k smithing experience, so that's fine. And... Yeah, I'm just going to do that quest real quick, and I'll record it. Between a Rock um, has been completed. And did I get any levels? No, I didn't get any levels, but um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do now. I think I'm actually going to get myself to level 48 Herbler, so I can make super anti-poisons, and once I've made those, I'll get myself to level 53 Thieving, and... Once you get level 53 Thieving, I can do Legends Quest and Desert Treasure. Uh, and after that, I'll be able to get my Barrow Gloves. Just hit level 47 Herblore, and one more level until I can make Super Anti-Poisons. I'm pretty sure that I'll be able to get level 40, uh, 48, but I'm not really sure. Um, I won't be able to get it just through Energy Potions and Prayer Potions, so I'm going to have to make other potions and I'm not really sure what I'm going to do yet. Also I'm not 100% sure if uh, doing Legends Quest, the experience reward that you get from it, if you need to be over level 50 in order to use the experience on a skill, but I guess we'll find out after I complete it. But hit level 51 fire making and um, I'm just kind of burning logs because I'm really scraping the last uh, few experience to level 48. I need 1.7k experience. 
And I have left in my bank or Terramin at the moment, and I'm going to make Serum 207s with that. But for that, I'll need ashes, so I'm just kind of picking up ashes from fires right now and hope that everything is going to work out. About to level 48, uh, Herblor, finally. Uh, <laughs> I've grinded like from 47, 46 to 48, it took me over an hour. But I finally got it, and now I probably won't be training Herblor until, really, um, until a really long time. Um, because <clears throat> I want tons of herbs when I want to train herb and I don't want to like scrape by like I had to do right now. So I'm just going to make some super anti-poisons and once I've done that I'll start training in Pyramid Plunder. And Pyramid Plunder uh, will get me to 53 thieving for now and then I'll be able to do Desert Treasure etc. I think that I'll end the episode once I hit level 53 thieving though because I don't know how long the current episode episode is and how long all the clips are, but I think they're, um, I think I have like 20 minutes or something. I'm about to hit level 50 thieving. Um, three more levels until I can do desert treasure, but right now I can already do legends quest, so that's pretty good. Uh, once I hit level 53, I'm, uh, already to do legends quest, and I think the experience from legends quest will get me like 51 or 52 herb or something. So that's a very welcome boost as well. Um, so I'll probably not report every level, I don't really know. Um, maybe I will. <laughs> About to hit level 53 thieving. Um, one more urn. And with that, I can finally start Legends Quest and Pyramid Plunder. Uh, I mean Legends Quest and Desert Treasure, which was the uh, whole goal of uh, training thieving. Alright, so I think I'm going to wrap up the uh, episode here. Um, this is just my bank. Nothing really, well, actually a lot changed. I fletched most of my U-bows. Uh, I bought a bit of gold ore. I got buckets of sand from Bird. 1.2 mil GP. Uh, still death runes I don't really use. Uh, other than that, I'm not really sure if a lot has changed. Just my chins. Which I'm going to use in the future, obviously. And my saplings, because I've been farming a little bit, and other than that, all this stuff is just quest stuff, and I still have to elk these U lungs, but I'll um, postpone that for a while. And my Purpura tab, which I did hunt quite a bit, I think I gained like 3 mil within this tab, and uh, this is just, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Now, for my experience, levels that I've gained in this episode, I've gained a ton of magic levels. Um, few fletching levels. I don't know if I was 70 at the start of this episode. I don't think I was, so that's a bit of fletching levels. Thieving, herb or agility, lots of agility, lots of crafting, um, and fire making, and farming, and that's it. 10.7 mil total experience, and I'm currently sitting at 211 quest points. Hopefully in the next episode I'll be around 230 quest points or something. I'll have, at least I'll have my barrel gloves, that's a goal that I really want to have or to achieve in the next episode and other than that I don't really know. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.